Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show that recreates famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft. I'm your host, Random Bell, and I know, I know, it has been a very long time for a very mediocre build. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, stuff just kind of happens, and uh, this took an insanely long time to finish, and I got to the point where I actually kind of got tired of the build, so I was just like, let's just do it all in a in a, in a quick little uh, time lapse at the start. Hopefully you saw some of it. I didn't even record all of it because some of it was just very mediocre. Um, and I'm just like, let's just finish it. So, cause I have another build that I really want to start on. And this one, this one was, problematic just to say the least so let's just hop down on the floor um as you saw this is the final part of the breaking bad build and yes as i said a lot got done off camera um just because it was a lot of the same stuff over and over again i went back and forth and tweaked some things wasn't entirely happy with a lot of this build i got i realized about halfway through it that i should have approached this one very different, uh, differently than I had, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry for putting out a, a kind of mediocre episode, but in lieu of restarting the entire thing, I decided let's just finish it up and move on. Um, a lot of people had put some very nice comments in, in, in and from the, late, the previous posts, and thank you guys all so very, very much for the nice comments. I'm so glad people are happy that this series is back. I do hope to, uh, oh, well, I hope to actually, oh, I guess that works. Um, Actually, no, I don't like that. <laughs> nope, can't change it now. Um, uh, I do hope to make a little, a few more of these uh, as time goes by, but uh, obviously, stuff just, stuff just happens, man. You know, COVID and, and stuff, and what are you gonna do about it? Um, I'm still fixing things. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so, well, what did I do? Let's just look at the outside here real quick. I finished up the landscaping. I realized based upon some photos and some still frames that most of the outside of the house is all gravel. So I kind of replaced most of the grass. Um, post sidewalk, I didn't I didn't care too much about it. I just left that kind of as is. Uh, added a tree. Most of the time the tree's dead in the front yard, but you know, eh. Um, pizza on the roof. Yes. There's no car. I do have the pizza. I can't build cars. I'm too lazy to find a, a kit, a schematic that I can just pop in here. Um, going inside the house, here is our garage, which, okay, forewarning, a lot of stuff is unfinished in here. I've never been the greatest at set deck and building, you know, the furniture, so I would rather just build the homes and let other people take it and make it look nicer and tweak it. Um, speaking of which, there will be a link in the description for the final, or for, for a download of the entire map. I do have to clean it up a little bit because um, I've been having a lot of problems getting this map to always work. So I need to do some work, but there will be a link eventually to this entire map. So you guys can take it yourself and rip it apart and tweak stuff and update things and, and fix the entire family ties Keaton house over there from the fire that we had. <sighs> makes me sad. Anyways, there is a lot of stuff that's unfinished, so please forgive me. Again, this is one of those things where like, oh, I didn't quite build it the way that I probably should have because I was incredibly rusty. This is one of them. Uh, <laughs> the garage is horrendous. Plus, this house, again, the inside of the house is a set, the outside is an actual location, and they purposefully did not build them to scale, which just meant things didn't quite work out correctly. So this is the back of Walt Jr.'s bedroom and this is the nursery. Um, there's supposedly like a washer and dryer unit right here, but there's this window here that doesn't look into anything in the house. So it's a little, it's a little odd. So yeah. Way to pick a very confusing house, Jeff. Um, so inside the house, as you can see, I can, I did not do I didn't do much set deck except for the little bit in the kitchen that you guys saw in the previous episode and the two main bedrooms I put down a, um, a bed, but frankly I don't like it. So I might just delete it while we're in this episode. Anyways, here is the front living room area. We still have all the wooden beams. I actually dropped the wooden beams down because I installed the, the ceiling in here. And the ceiling, uh, originally the beams were, were even with them, but I wanted this kind of like recessed ceiling. You see this in a lot of houses, plus I think this is pretty much what you see in the show, so I, I definitely wanted to do that. Um, fireplace is still going nice and strong. Still love those things. Those, those, those campfires make fireplaces so much cooler nowadays. Um, hallway, the ceiling was lifted up just ever so slightly to match the height of the new recessed ceiling. Uh, didn't quite, we'll, we'll go outside in a minute. 
Didn't really change anything with the kitchen. Kind of left it as is. I'm actually kind of happy with how that turned out. That's probably the one piece of this entire build that I'm happy with. <laughs> um, readjusted these. I, 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 not, I got rid of one of these two hall closets. I think one might have been a bathroom. I don't know. Um, but I just made the one closet, and this is the trap door down into the um, crawl space underneath the house. And uh, where, where Walt hides stuff in one of the episodes. Spoilers. Um, you, hopefully you've seen Breaking Bad if you're watching this. I'm really hoping you have. Um, shifted the doors just a little bit here. Um, so that's the nursery, and then this is Walt Jr.'s room. I did that. That is my awesome bed. <laughs> um, nope. I just, you and you, pillows. Um, this is the problem that I kept facing, and this is when I just reached the point where I'm like, I have to rebuild this entire house. I didn't take into account that all the walls are going to be double thickness, so the hallway being this color bleeds into his room. I was able to have this green because his bedroom actually kind of is this, like, seafoam green. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of what, you know, Walt's bedroom is. Walt and Skyler's bedroom has that kind of accent wall, so I'm like, okay, that, that kind of worked. Um, uh, another bed. Uh, their bathroom, which again, I did not finish off. I slid the door down. The door was originally like right here. And I realized by looking at some more set photos that that, no, the, the, the door is pretty much kind of in the middle-ish. Um, this wall got shifted towards us as I'm standing because I wanted to make more space for that closet because that's the closet in there. Um, so I wanted to give them a little more space for that, but that's their bathroom. And then they have a patio door that looks out onto, um, the backyard, which we will go to right now. Oh, and also the ceilings in every single bedroom, uh, they don't, they don't all have the wood beams, but every room has that same dropped, uh, ceiling effect. And I just have sea lanterns in here right now. So that way they have some lighting outside of the, the, uh, lanterns. So, backyard. Okay, so we got all the pool in, um, as I believe you saw that in the time lapse. Um, and then we did a little tweaking to the awning here. I raised it up a block because it is supposed to be in line with the bottom row of the roof. And I'll come back to the roof in a second just to go over it a little bit more. Did some tweaks on the backyard here. Um, basically, it's just a mess. It looks like he's on like a, the side of like a little bit of a hill incline. Uh, since the whole house is kind of built on an, a little bit of an incline, which we did not do for this build, um, I figured I could at least kind of emulate some of it in the backyard. Basically, he has a really, really cheap uh, railroad tie wall that's like falling apart, and there's just gravel and grass and plants and just garbage it probably looked nice at one point but it's uh you know years of um neglect and and an upkeep and then he's got like a chain link fence so i'm assuming this probably divides the property from the backyard but um i realized that after the fact after i'd already planted all these trees and i was again too lazy to tear all the trees down so i just uh, put that up and i put some vines on it yeah that's how you get out of doing stuff um i swear i do care about this series i just really lost interest in this episode and wanted to actually finish it so it'd be done and not leave you guys hanging with an unfinished episode because that would bother me more um and added a diving board because you have to have a diving board in a pool um so then the roof very very basic roof i just ended up doing half slabs the entire way up i know this looks horrendous but um you know what are you gonna do about it um so it was just really simple. I actually built this wrong the first time. I forgot that the front of the house has these two kind of jutting out pieces from the center. They have their own uh, naturally sloping up roof lines. So I had, a, I had built the entire roof coming all the way up to, a, I think it was about here-ish, and then going all the way back down to the front. And then I looked at it, I looked at my resource, my reference photo, and I hated myself, so <laughs> I, I had to redo it. Um, and just, uh, it actually goes from the back of the house, I have it hanging over one brick, or one block, and it goes, I believe it goes 13 blocks up, so 13 is this dead center. Here's another thing I know some of you guys wanted, you guys wanted to know block counts. Uh, I will try to do that, especially going forward in some of our future homes and future builds. Um, so I'm going to try to kind of recap a little bit. Roof height goes from there to there, should be 13. Uh, and then it's from the, from the center one down is 13. So it's 20, it's 12, and 1, and then 12 down. Um, the block, that 12th block after that height one, 
or after that middle one, is one block off the inside wall here. Does that make sense? Because the living room and the garage both jut out an equal amount uh, from the center. They aren't equal width, because I had noticed while building this roof, uh, and this is this was me screwing up because I should have given the garage um, an inner wall again, messing up stuff. But uh, this one, it comes up to just a single block in the center, but this one ended up coming up to two. So that means this guy's one block wider than it probably should be. Um, however, you know, it doesn't look that bad. And actually looking at some satellite photos, because I spent a lot of time looking at satellite photos that these are real places too, just so I can get a general idea. Um, it, it, actually, I think this one is narrower than the garages. I think the garage should be the wider one, but uh, again, didn't take that into account while building my initial layout. Should have done more pre-planning. That's the key. Oh, and these right here um, are skylights, which in the actual house they don't have, but in, uh, in, in on the show, and I know I probably discussed this when I built these originally, um, there are definitely photos of like looking down the hallway and you can tell there are skylights in the hall so i i just kept them in and just did a you know whatnot just a little gut up into the hole because i didn't want to see the attic there is a ton of uh, attic space because of the the roof line that we did do so it's because obviously if we go back out to the side here you can see how much because the ceiling height is about i think right about yeah it's uh, it's one block it's a half a slab above the windows um, so from here on up, this is all attic space. So I, you could actually have a decent like room up there if you really wanted to figure out where their attic space was. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, um, with the roof line being 13 blocks, 12 blocks, and then a single center line and then 12 blocks back down, these are just, um, once I had the roof going a crisscross in, I basically just went one block out from the edge of the building all the way around and then just one block stepped it all the way up until I got to the center and just kept making it um, smaller and smaller because that's how the roof line is tied into the actual house that they filmed at. Uh, besides that, I don't remember what the actual width... Let's see here. Let's just do this real quick. So the garage ended up being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 blocks wide, uh, two blocks on each side with, um, my goodness, doing math, seven in the middle, because I always like having it be an odd number. Because uh, in, in, in my, on my map, I base all of my gr uh, cars off of being three blocks wide. So I figured three blocks wide, one space in the middle, three blocks wide. So garage is 11 blocks wide, two blocks, seven, and two blocks. This should be, um, I'm assuming this is probably 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes. So what I should have done is I shouldn't have made this be an even window. This should have been an odd window. And then that would have made the this side of the house the same. And then it would have made four blocks in there instead of three. Would have given us a little more space there to walk in. So yeah, there's a lot of little things I, I'm seeing that could have that could easily be adapted. You could truthfully knock off one block here, um, shift this. Oh yeah, you could totally see it. I think I did this on camera too. That's really freaking annoying. Um, this wall could very well be right here, and if you did that, and then this jut out would be right here. The doorway would be right in line there, and then the roof lines would be even. So that's a really, really simple fix to do. That would also give you two blocks to walk through there instead of just one. Um, so piece of cake, easy. If you just do 11 and 11 for both sides and um, the, you know, the garage you can keep to be two and then seven and then two, this you could very well just keep, well, if that, yeah. Yeah, you could still keep the three and then just make this be five blocks instead of my six and then three. So really simple fix. And that it wouldn't even have to change the whole, like this whole side of the house can actually stay. Um, and then on top of that, uh, just to make sure you guys get the hang of, or you understand what I'm saying, here uh, the, the depth of the house then would just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count that right? <laughs> Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Uh, it's nine blocks. And then I have a four block chimney. So then we're up to 13, and then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 28 blocks deep. Um, yes, so 28 blocks deep. We have 12 blocks, 3 blocks, and 11 blocks. 
So 14 and 12, so it's 26. So it's, yeah, actually it's square. <laughs> it's a square house. There you go, a piece of cake. Um, and then generally the height of the outside, one, two, three, four. I mean, that is a half slab, but that's because that's down. So it's usually four blocks tall. Um, I just feel like that gives you a nice like ledge here. That'd be about, you know, waist height. I don't know, chest height, I guess. Well, uh, 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 yeah, it's, it's about stomach height. Stomach height, and then you still have like another gap before it reaches the top. I never like windows going all the way up to the roof line or to the ceiling height. So that always allows you to, to kind of have that half gap. And then again, these are all just half slabs because I, I like having recess. I like having those little like, that's the way it's, it's not all square. You know, you understand me? You get me, Vern? Um, <clears throat> the way that the front living room is all set up, it comes back to just being uh, four blocks post the chimney. And then that's the divider room. And then the rest of the the rest of the back of the house is the rest of the house at the back is the dining room. And then um, pretty much I used that halfway point. It's not really halfway, but I used that point as the divider for the rest of the house. Um, the house is a little screwy it's not even the dining room in hindsight does look a little large so what i probably could have done in order to fix my issue in the front of the house here um where that wallpaper is shining through the garage i could have probably jutted everything back one more block so basically take this and put it here instead um i know that would have made this well, I probably would have just made this a three bay window then. Because uh, again, I like to have it even around the sides. But by doing that, by knocking this back, this now this window becomes even. Um, and then that also gives us an extra block. Also, again, jutting this over, uh, that would also give us an extra block to cover here. So that way um, the pink can just be inside the room and then it can be white in the garage. So the garage is completely white. Uh, and that would just, yeah, knock this whole row back. That's fine. The fridge just goes over a block. Um, yeah, actually this whole thing, oh, this whole hallway would slide over just one solid block. Uh, that would as well, which I think that would make those be actually on the roof line. Uh, hold on, let's go out there and look. Yeah, so these, these then I would, these would have just been here instead. Which, again, I'm, there's a lot of this that I'm realizing, like, this would just look a lot better. So if I maybe had spent another 10 minutes, I could have finished all this off. But what it took was it, it talked, it took me talking to you guys. That's what took, that's, that's what it took, so. Um, but yeah, dimensions, keep all the dimensions of the actual outside of the house. It's just shifting this row, this, this one wall here over one block, which would then shift that over as well. And then getting rid of one window there and then taking this divider line of the house and just knock it back one block. Um, it's not gonna change much inside their bathroom. Um, this, because I'm actually doubling up on the wall right here, I probably could just ditch that. In the show it is a square, but um, this just gives us a little more space to walk in the whole thing. But anyways, if everything was shifted over really, then that means the doorway would just be right here. Um, this would just be over one more block. You're not really changing a whole lot of space in this room. Um, the corner would just be here instead. And then I might even move the door over an extra block. So then that way you could get a little more space here for like a bathtub or something, you know. I don't really know what's all in their bathroom. I, I didn't pay attention. Um, but yeah, that would be the only thing I uh, I would probably do. And you could probably even then move that window over one and then maybe move that window over one as well, just so it's it's here and it's not that weird overhang on the side of the uh, the bed like that. So yeah, little little things I'm, I'm already noticing about my build. Maybe I will come back to this build and tweak it someday, do a follow-up episode or, or do all those little changes we talked about. Otherwise, um, with that, that would be the Breaking Bad house. Backyard here, just use your judgment for block size. Uh, I used some photographs just to see like they obviously it's a little more spacious on this side of the pool compared to that side because they usually have chairs and tables over here. Um, but yeah, and then I guesstimated on this the width of the of the yard itself because I know there is a walkway along this side of the house. So I made that just a little bit a little bit wider than that other side. But with that, 
that is the Breaking Bad house, which looks so weird right next to the Simpsons house. <laughs> These are two very different shows. And then the family time. These homes do not belong in this neighborhood over here, I'm just realizing. But, uh, you know, with a, with a pizza on the roof view of the base motel over there, you know, I guess this is just an entirely fitting neighborhood. <laughs> so weird. Anyways, so with that, I am calling it a wrap on the Breaking Bad house. And uh, that's not my tool. There's my sonic screwdriver. And uh, with that, we'll, we'll call it a wrap. And we'll come back. I'm going to try to find time soon. And we'll come back to do another episode, another build in the close, close future. Um, spoilers, the one I kind of want to do is going to be over here uh here we'll just we'll just we'll go we'll, i'm just gonna go take a quick uh, a run over here basically my thought is this whole back wow i didn't realize i could see uh cheers over there huh. um basically where those goats are i just realized are sheep yeah we're gonna kind of be uh oh those aren't sheep what is this what Is this a hatch? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we're doing lost. <laughs>